Hey gang, it's Brian from FX Billiards. If you are new to the channel, this is a segment we call Are You Out From Here? The way this works is I'll show you a layout on the table and I'll show you how I ran the balls out. You can decide if you would have done something different than I do here. This one would take a certain special set of skills in some situations because you actually have to run the entire rack. But uh, for the most part, I want you to understand the concept that we're dealing with so that you can determine if you would have done it the same way, differently, but also so that you learn the mindset that I take as I run through this rack. So let's take a look. So here's our situation. We're playing nine ball. We are on the one. Everything is very makeable from where they are, with one exception. The five and seven are clustered up over here next to this side pocket. Neither one of those balls goes anywhere unless we break up that cluster. How do we go about doing it? Intermediate player mistake. You're trying to go from the four, break up the cluster. Hope, hopefully you have a shot on the five and then maybe you're out. Advanced player move. You play the one, you can't get to the cluster from the one. So you leave the cue ball in a position where maybe you can get your off of the two. Now you're attacking the problem early. If you don't get there off of the two, guess what? You try to get there off the three. And then if that doesn't work, you try to get there off of the four, but you've got to break up this cluster if you want to run out. We like to run out. Those of you who are going to hit in the comments, I'd play a safety off the two ball. No, we like to run out. You can play safe all day and night. I like to run racks because then you never come see the table. That's the goal here is to run out. The video is called, are you out from here? Not are you safe from here? So we want to run out. How do we give ourselves three times more opportunities than the guy that thinks he's going to come off that four? We start now. So we shoot a stop shot on the one. We give ourselves this little back cut on the two. I'm sorry, it's not a back cut, it's a, but it's a very easy cut on the two where we run our cue ball down here, maybe with a little bit of high right, so we make sure we break up the cluster. This is opportunity one to break up the cluster. We need to put a little bit of pace on it because we want to separate these balls, and when we hit them, no matter which direction we hit them from, it's going to put us on the three ball. So let's take a look. So we got a lucky break there. I don't know if you saw what happened, but we came off the edge of the pocket and broke these up. The moral of the story is we broke them up. We could have hit them head on. Because we're using English, it's very difficult to predict exactly where we were going to go on that, but that's a cluster break. If I didn't hit them, guess what? Cue ball still is, is still moving. It's down here. I play a shot off of the, the three ball and the short rail and I take another crack at it. But we hit them. I do like the fact that we got lucky on it. <laughs> and now we just need to run the rest of the rack. Could have got better position on this four. I'm actually gonna put some high right on this so that I get out here. If I just shoot it straight in, I come way too close to this side for the five, so I'm going to roll it around a little bit on this. This is not a beginner shot, okay? A lot of right-hand English with distance. We'll draw out, get position on this six. Actually, let's follow it. This is going to be high right. Another shot you should have in your bag. And now, Everything is automatic. We just roll this in. We'll be on the seven, and the seven automatically puts us on the nine. So that's how we run them. Again, we got a lucky break on that, hitting the edge of the pocket. But you know what? I'm going to teach you guys something about luck. You make your own luck. 95% of amateur players never play the shot that gives them that lucky break. And right now they're racking because they never got from the four to the five. So keep that in mind. 
Another way to get to that shot would have been if we had to shoot off of the three, come off of that short rail, come down here and break those up. Hit me in the comments. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching and check out this video.